So now that Ugas has come off a high level win against Pacquiao, which has actually put him into the public consciousness and um, to some extent announced him onto the world stage. Um, I saw Errol Spence actually tweeting about him saying, oh, what, what should Pacquiao do next? Um, not Pacquiao, sorry. Um, he was talking about the Errol Spence fight. And um, I, th I think this is a very high level fight. I mean, it will be a very impressive fight. If they both were to fight each other, um, you might be looking at a very top welterweight fight in my opinion Ugas is a top three welterweight at this point with his win over Pacquiao although Pacquiao was past it only two three years ago he beat uh, Keith Furman quite decisively so I think the next fight um, let's hope Errol Spence gets past his eye surgery quite quite efficiently and he, he's quite safe um, I think the next best fight is for him to fight um, Ugas. I mean, they were scheduled to fight, and then um, obviously with the WBA situation, um, Ugas got pulled out, and then Pacquiao got the fight, and then now that they're, they're going to fight each other again, so obviously they've not fought before, but they're going to be scheduled to fight each other. So I'm actually looking forward to this particular fight. I think it's a very interesting fight. I think both fighters are high level. Um, Ugas is obviously a little bit older. Uh, Spence is a lot more heralded a lot of people think Spence will just win but I think the way Ugas has been looking I think he's going to be very dangerous for Spence and I think Spence can win don't get it twisted but I think um, I think it's, it's, it's a high level fight but it's a fight where uh, both of them c could could have troubles for each other I mean even though Ugas is Ugas is a relatively big uh, welterweight, he's quite big. I mean, he was bigger than Sean Porter, he was bigger than Pacquiao, but Errol Spence is on that similar dimension. So the dimension of the fight changes just because of the fact that uh, both of them are, are different type of um, different type of athletes in terms of like their size and their dimension. And I feel like obviously um, Ugas is this slick as um, Cuban fighter with uh, very good boxing skills, and ov obviously. Um, Spence is a pressure fighter who likes to put the pressure on you and try to put it on you so I think it's a nice clash of styles in terms of who I think is going to win right now I'm going to sit on the fence I slightly favor Spence but Sp Spence is coming off an, a retina surgery and before that he had a car crash so physically he might not be the same I mean he just might not be while Ugas is coming off a win against Pacquiao and before that he was an, on a eight fight win streak um not a win streak sorry he, he had eight fights in the last three years now he's had nine fights in the last three years including the Pacquiao fight so what that means is he's very active well if you look at Spence Spence has been off because of the car in the, the car crash on top of that he's going to be off now for another year because of um the, the problems that he's having with um his his retina surgery so in terms of who's been more active ugas has been more active when it was the spence house coming up that was uh beating the likes of brooke and it wasn't partying so much and wasn't an alcoholic then i really would have easily have pe picked spence to win a fight against ugas but since of all these uh mitigating circumstances i feel like it makes the fight a lot more closer on top of that ugas um he's already a confident fighter but now that he's got a win over pacquiao his confidence is going to go up tenfold and now he's become a legitimate champion he's got he's going to have more of a champion's mentality um because he's already got a high level win he's already got a real world title he doesn't have no interim title or some regular belt he's got the real title because they're both contending for that belt while uh Errol spence is coming out out of retina surgery on top of that before that he had a car crash i mean there seems to be a lot of things going going against uh, spence so um obviously I'm, I'm going with the notion that the the injury to the eye was 100 percent genuine and he did actually have a problem with his eye um, i'm not going to go into speculation because i don't want to get sued but at the same time let's just pretend it was 100 percent a genuine injury if you look at it from that perspective uga seems to have the momentum on his side and the way he's been carrying on with his activity um obviously there might be a bit of time be before the Spence versus Ugas fights happen but based on his mentality and the way he's been carrying himself I think it's fair to say that um, Ugas is going to be probably going to get another fight after this he's definitely going to put himself out there and he's going to try to probably get another fight while um, at the same time um, at the same time Spence is going to be in surgery trying to sort out his eye and he's going to be off for a little bit of time so when you look at it from that perspective it's not as cut and dry as people make it out to seem people are just saying oh, um, Errol Spence is going to completely destroy him um, you can't underestimate a fight like Ugas I mean he gave a very good fight to Sean Porter he's just beaten Pacquiao he's won a title I mean I mean 
I, I slightly favour Spence, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if um, Ugas is another banana skin for um, Errol Spence, just the same way he was for Pacquiao. So, yeah, that's my opinion on this uh, particular fight. Tell me what you think. Um, who do you think actually have? Ha who do you actually think wins this fight if they were to fight? They seem like they're going to be scheduled to fight each other. Um, obviously, both of them have got a similar physical dimension. So, it's, a, it's to some extent a very compelling fight. But who do you think will win this particular fight? And who, who do you think is going to come out on top? Uh, tell me before below and like and subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more content coming your way. Peace out.